This video is on a feature called Mail Merge. Um, <clears throat> very useful feature. Whenever you have a list of names, or it usually is a list of people, uh, and you want, rather than have to type a different letter for each person, you want to be able to type the letter once and have it merge with all of those names. Uh, and that way you can get as many different versions of that same letter. Um, a good example is if you're printing out certificates for 30 people on a team, right? Rather than have to type one for each person, if you have the names of all the people in a table somewhere, you can merge that table to the document that you're typing. So uh, I'm going to give you an example of the tables first. Here's a table in Excel. It's, it's critical that your table have a, uh, the first row needs to be the identifier for what's inside the table. So here, first name, and then you have the first names last name and the last names. That's really important, otherwise mail merge doesn't work. Uh, so it could be uh, an Excel document like this, uh, or it could be in a table in Word like this. But again, the first row uh, can't be blank. It has to have uh, the name of what it is we're printing in, critical. And then once you know that exists, close it. Don't leave it open. Okay, so close those documents. And then you would start by typing your letter, uh, typically. You, you can run the merge, you can type as you're merging, but I like to type the whole thing in, know where I'm gonna put in my fields, and then go from there. The first step is to just go start mail merge. Now, uh, you would determine, am I typing a letter? Am I typing um, uh, an email message? Envelopes, labels, all right? Labels that you would just print out and then stick onto envelopes. There's a wizard uh, that I really like, and it takes you through step by step. Uh, I'm not sure what the test is gonna ask you to do, so we're gonna not use the wizard just yet. So here, the once you've started mail merge, I'm gonna say letter, all right? So this is going to be uh, my document, I believe. And now here, I would select recipients. So in other words, find the table. You can type a new list if you want. However, most of the time, your table exists somewhere. So I'm going to say use an existing list and it's asking where where is it now I know that both of my lists happen to be in just my documents here because I just typed them and I did one of them in Word I did one of them in Excel it doesn't matter which one I choose they're both the same so just for the sake of an example here I'll use Excel and it's asking me is it sheet one and it is sheet one so I'm just going to say yep that's the one and that's going to open up I believe a new window or maybe not so now um, I have the recipients and I can go into edit recipient list if I wanted to, just so I can see. It's a very small list. I wanted to keep this rather brief. So here I've got all my people and my information. If I wanted to omit people, if I wanted to just for some reason, oh no, I don't want to include that person, I would exclude them that way and then I would hit okay, but I don't want to do that. You'd also be able to filter for people who only live in Toronto, all right? So you if you know how to filter, you'd be able to run a filter, you'd be able to sort if you as well, okay? Right now, they're already sorted by last name, so I don't need to, to sort at all. So I'm just gonna hit okay from here. And next, I guess what we're ready to do is we're, we're able to insert fields, all right? So I had first name, I had last name, I had phone number, I had city, and I had the uh, title of these people. So at the top here, I wanna put their first name and their last name right so it's the beginning of a letter so I would probably go to insert field and see it's showing me the fields that are in the table that I've chosen which makes sense I'm gonna go first name then I'm gonna go space then I'm gonna go last name all right if you want to see what this is looking like just preview there we go Jack Dunn so that's the third record second record first record so far this is going great so now um, in in this uh, so I'm gonna unpreview okay I uh, somehow inadvertently jumped the gun and put first name in there. I'm just going to delete that. So here in my in my regular letter, I would have dear, and this is where I want my first name. So I'm going to go insert first name and make sure there's a space before, there's a space after. Excellent. Um, now here as the, now here I want to put the position, right, between these two uh, spaces. So as the title. I want the title right there of our great company. It gives us great pleasure to invite you to our holiday party. We will gladly send a chauffeur to drive you back and forth from, and here I'm gonna put the name of their city, like that. 
Okay, and again, I can preview this to see what it looks like. And it's looking good. As the president of our great company, it gives us great pleasure to invite you to a holiday party and back and forth from Toronto. So this, and I can scroll through to make sure they all look okay. And they all look wonderful. And then what you'd be able to do is just go ahead, finish and merge. Now, when you, when you do this, you have a choice, all right? Um, I can go to edit individual documents. Or I can go to print documents. So if you were connected to a printer and you want to print these things out, you would just go to print. If you want to see what they look like before printing, again, you, you can ask to see all records. You can ask to see specific records if you wanted to. Here, I'm going to say show them all to me. So now the results, you, you may not even notice happened very quickly. So now I have two documents open. I have the original letter that I was typing called mail merge, right? And then I have the result of my mail merge, which is here. And this is a three page document because I have three people in that table. If I had 300, I would have 300 here. So that's a very quick and simple run through of how to use the mail merge. Um, I'm going to go through the wizard real quickly with you so you know both ways. So starting exactly where we started last time, instead of going start mail merge here, I'm gonna go step by step wizard. I've always liked the wizard. Uh, so here we're doing a letter. If we were doing an envelope or, or uh, a label, we would use those of course. So I'm gonna go say letter and I'm gonna go next. And here it's saying which document you wanna use and I'm gonna use this one, the current document. It's fine. And next is select recipients. So this is, again, I'm simply going to browse here and I'm going to find, I'll use the word one this time around just to show you that they both work. So here I have data word and it's showing me, it didn't show me the Excel for some reason, but it's showing me the word, which is nice. Good. So I see that there. Excellent. And now I'm ready to write my letter. I've already started typing in a whole bunch of stuff. So so again, I forgot that that was there. So dear space. So now I want to insert just an item. So I want first name. And once you've put this in, I, I double clicked. I could have single clicked and gone insert. And once you've done that, you actually have to leave this. You got to go close and then find the next spot. So as the, I want to go right there, more items and I can hit, hit title and then hit insert and then close this. So I've got title there. And again, uh, we can do a preview here and it's showing me that it's working. It gives us great pleasure, blah, blah, blah. And then here I have the city. So again, I can go more items and city. So you're noticing that this wizard's pretty much doing the same thing that's up here and insert and close. And now it's saying next, you can preview your letters. And if I wanna preview my letters, it's showing me now what this is actually looking like and I can scroll through the recipients and next complete the merge. So it's asking if you want to print or do you want to go to in edit individual and notice it's, it's the same menu. So those are two ways of doing the same thing. Two ways of completing your mail merge. Uh, just a series of steps. Once you know them, it's really straightforward. You don't have to do a lot of them. Um, but when you do, uh, when you have one to do, it's, it's a real time saver. It exists uh, in word. I believe it exists in publisher as well. It's for letters, it's for cards, it's for invitations, it's for certificates, um, many uses, uh, handy little feature.